Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Listen, boys, I wanted to feel Foden, uh, but I, I ain't paying that. We'll make do with a Kuna, pretend that flag is English. Animal. Fearless. Dangerous. Damn, that's crazy. Oh. Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. Oh, oh no, I ain't wrestling with you. No one can have that much power. It is too much. Are you struggling to win on FIFA because your team is really bad? Shocking, dreadful, no quality. Do you need coins for a cheeky new team? You can head over to u7buy.com for cheap, fast, and reliable coins. And if you use code McShell, you'll get a 5% discount. Alright, boys and girls, today we're going to be looking at an extremely cheeky card, okay? This is quite possibly the best centimid in the game that I've seen, except for, of course, another Argentinian legend who happens to be bald. This card isn't bald, but his stats are unreal. This card, lads, is not a cheap one, alright? I had to use a lot of my coins, and I've been saving up my coins for a while, but I, I, he cost me like 800k. I picked him up on Friday. He's a lot of money. I'm hoping he comes down in price, but there's a good chance he doesn't. One of the reasons I don't think this card is going to come down in price, boys, is because there's a very good chance that Argentina win the Copa America, so I don't think this card is ever gonna be cheap. I would imagine he will probably at least get a few upgrades, and again, there's a very good chance he end up winning it, and he'd just be the most cracked card of all time. So I hope you guys, if you're wanting to get this card, you've got some coins behind you. I'm gonna put him in my second team today, boys. I'm obviously not gonna use him permanently because of how expensive he actually is, so I am gonna just quickly review him and sell him. But yeah, he, he fits straight into my second team, boys, which I, I think is a quite nice little second team. I'll just drop him out for Benega, but yeah, look, look at this team, boys. Very nice. But yeah, boys, this card is nearly 90 in every single stat. I mean, it is absolutely god tier. There's hardly a bad stat in sight here. It is just, uh, it's amazing. I'd say one of the weakest parts of the card is the weak foot. Okay, obviously three star weak foot is not ideal, but if Argentina end up winning the thing, then he'll get the five star weak foot upgrade and the five star skill move upgrade, which would be absolutely mental. He's got high high work rates as well, which is perfect for center mid. Uh, 92 pace, uh, he goes without saying is good. The shooting stats here, except for finishing, which is a little bit on the low end, so I've gone to boost that with the hunter chem style. But the rest of the shooting there is absolutely god tier. Okay, 97 long shots. 96 positioning is just absolutely ridiculous. The dribbling stats here are amazing, okay? If you told me that this was messy, I'd believe you, okay? 97 in-game dribbling, 97 composure, 97 ball control is just absolutely ridiculous. Defensively, is damn near perfect. Obviously, he doesn't have heading accuracy, but it's not the most important defensive stat. He's got 90 interceptions, though, 95 standings, having 91 defensive awareness. The card defensively is amazing, and physically as well is just absolutely god tier. Lads, this is honestly one of the best cards, like, it's for centre mids you can get. Again, there is this bald-headed legend over here that it is a little bit better, just just a little bit. But yeah, this card is just cracked. All right, and this is before any upgrades. I'd put money on it that he's gonna get at least a few, you know. They only have to win three games for him to get a plus two upgrade, which would make him 96 rated. Yo, dog, this shit is hot, man. So anyway, let's we jump into a bit of Champions gameplay with this team. Fingers crossed it plays well, because, you know, I spent a little bit of time building this cheeky little second team, so I hope it, it, I hope it plays nicely. So guys, we jump into game number one. Akuna just absolutely bullying people. Okay, Akuna defensively right out the gate is being really good right now. Lads, Akuna is like Kante and Messi in one at the minute. Like, he does things that Kante would do, but then look, watch him dribble. Like, he just feels blistering. This is... I'm going to go all the way. I'm going to go all the way. I... This card could be something else, boys. We will watch your career with great interest. Oh, God, Boa. What are you doing, lad? Oh, what a... That's one of the best saves I've ever seen in FIFA, period. That is God tier. Nice pass. Big boy Veron in great space. And he's opened the score. This is why Veron is the best enemy. Akuna might be good and all, but Veron is the GOAT. I and mean, everybody knows it. Good pass from Kleiber. For Ron again. Oh, for Ron. Oh, for Ron, please! For Ron is so jealous that I'm reviewing another Argentinian centre mid that he's just like, well, fuck it. I've got to be the star of the show. That's just what he is. He's just the goat. I'm sorry, boys. I want to review Akuna, but for Ron has got other plans. 
the half. Oh, fuck, not before the half. Michelle doing shit like that. Man, it's so avoidable. That was so avoidable. I just played the worst pass right before the half, and now he has a chance to get back in it. Oh, that is honestly world class from Akuna. He is god tier at defending. I love it. Nice pass from Lorente. Akuna. Keep going, lad. He's just a bit. He seriously is a beast. What am I doing? I'm being so stupid with some of these passes. I did that. Both my goals, both my goals can see that are so avoidable. It's just me not being. I just need to be smarter. But I'm too dumb, and I just do dumb things. Oh no! Oh, that would have been a beauty. Please, please, we still got it. We still got it. God damn it! That would have been so good from Akuna. Imagine, imagine on the volley. Oh my god, an insane goal! <laughs> I, I got to remember that's freestyle week for N78 finishing. He's not going to pull that off, Michelle. Yeah. It's bridged. That's a goal. It's honestly, it, just being 2 0 up is just so much pain. And I hit the ball with the Kuna. Like, I just. I don't want to play anymore. God damn it, boys. I, I just, I don't know what's going on lately. I just keep losing games. I, I feel like I should be winning. I feel like I should be winning games like that. Oh, it's so annoying. So yeah, lads, despite not winning that game, Akuna was absolutely incredible, especially from defensive perspective, okay? You play this card at CDM, you're not leaking a goal. Like, he it, is it is beyond broken, and this is before any upgrades. If he gets upgraded, it's over. Kante on crack. That's this card. And unfortunately, I couldn't get a goal with him. We were very, very unlucky uh, when we hit the bar. It was a really good effort, and obviously, I would have been free to up with that goal. It could have been a different story had it gone in. It was just stupidly unlucky. So yeah, let's hopefully Akuna can do some more damage in the second game. Hopefully, I can actually win this time. So guys, we're going to game number two. Nice. Play through. Tevez, it's got to be, lad. You did nothing in the last game, so you need to make up for it. Lovely footwork. You're a disappointment to your parents, who I fucked. Shit. Bad. Fuck. Say, if Tevez could just fucking finish, I'd be the one one nil up right now. But instead, I'm watching a Bamiang do fucking front flips. Nice, Akuna. Keep running, lad. I'm gonna give it to you now. That's not Akuna, but fine. What a pass. Tevez. Finally. Let's go, boys. Tevez making up for that earlier miss. How the fuck has he done that? Oh, come on, EA. I've read that. He scored it. No, do you know what? Fair play. It was, good. it was a good play. I can't, I can't discredit it. I will discredit this fucking flip, though. Stop doing that shit. Fuck, man! I'm just losing every game lately! I can't win on FIFA at the minute! Please, Crasco. How the hell is he said that, that? That's ridiculous. I'm sorry, that is absolutely absurd. Pass to Veron. Cut in. No! I honestly, the fact that this is 3 1, I just feel robbed every game I play these days. Please, please, Carrasco. Hit it, hit it. Honestly, lads, I don't know how it's 3-1 to this guy. I've just had so many chances. Brilliant play. It's brilliant play. Come on! Come on, Akuna. Great positioning. Great play all around. Just good passing. We're going to get at least... Well, I, I was going to say we're going to lead to draw, but it's not champs. We're going to win this game, boys. What is he doing? He's beginning to believe... What a block! Alfonso Davies. Nice back two. The aids. The aids! But I don't give a shit! Come on, Akuna! Beautiful! We go to extra time. Come on, lads. We're going to beat this guy from 3 1 down. I honestly deserve to be winning this. What are these stats? Look at it. I've absolutely dominated him. Right. We're going to make some changes, though, boys. Nedved. It can. Butra. It's striker and Tevez can come off for Immobile. Let's just get a classic from three on. Great pass from Nedved. And back two. Nice. It's honestly superb. It's honestly superb football. The link up play. Oh, 
love him. Honestly, I honestly love him. Everything about this kid I love. Oh no. Oh no, Mitchell. Oh, just honestly, every goal I've conceded in this episode, I feel like it's just mistakes from me. This is the worst. Oh my god, I'm still in it. I've still got a chance. Oh my god. Kuna doing a Kuna type things. That is absolutely world class from him. Is he onside? Brilliant from Veron! That is br how the hell is he onside? Oh, it's penalties it is, boys. Honestly, it's very rare that you'll see a penalty shootout on this channel. Oh, come on, Majel. You've got this. Let's go, Boutre, let's go. Down the middle. Let's go, Nedved, let's go. Yes, Van der Sar! Come on! Right, Kiro Mobile. Oh, fuck you! He read me like a book. Good pen, good pen. Let's go, let's go. Take some really quick, this guy. And I've saved it! Right, if we score this, we win. Who is it? It's for Ron! Right! For Ron to go. You know, you know it's a goal. You already know it's a goal because it's for Ron. Oh, that was a really shit pen, but for Ron is such a goat. He's such a goat and is still winning. I completely missed the entire target. I love him. He's so bold and beautiful. He gets me the equalizer and wins it. I love him. He's just the best sentiment in the game. You are number one. I don't know no two or three, but I know you that one. So yeah, boys and girls, as you guys can see with a little 10 out of 10 there from Akuna, uh, yeah, he's fucking good. Like, and not just good, he is um, unbelievably good. And if this card gets some upgrades, it's over. Like, this card is going to be one of the best cards in the game, I kid you not. He's already out of this world at absolutely everything, okay? His dribbling, his defending, his physical, his pace, all incredible. Even his shooting was good. In terms of the things he's lacking, obviously the weak foot is the big thing. If this card does end up winning uh, the Copa America, uh, this card, uh, if Argentina wins the Copa America, then obviously he's going to get that five-star weak foot, which would be absolutely massive. This card is unbelievably good already, lads. If you've got 800k, go and get him. He's absolutely worth every single penny. He literally scored two goals in this game that were so important, and it was just unbelievable. But anyway, that's I'm going to call it there. Hope you did enjoy. If you did, smash that subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one, all right? Peace.